Another blockbuster year for the space industry draws to a close. In fact, 2022 may have been the most blockbuster year for space in recent memory, since 1969 at least. NASA finally got its long-anticipated moon rocket off the ground. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope stunned the world over and over again in 2022 with science-quality images of the wonders of the cosmos. Blue Walker 3 broke the record for the biggest commercial communications array in orbit when it unfurled to a size of of 693 feet on November 14th, Rocket Lab, a small private space company, took to the skies this year not only in a rocket but in a helicopter. But it's almost not worth putting together a list of 2022 space superlatives without mentioning SpaceX. Not only overwhelmed the world with Falcon 9, but SpaceX also made the space industry shake when its monster Falcon Heavy officially returned to the race after three years of absence. Along with that comes significant progress with our Mars-bound rocket Starship. Of course, it's not to say everything ran smoothly. There were definitely some big bumps in the road, but space research, observation, and industry all had huge years nonetheless. And even in a year as full of progress and innovation as this one, some projects really set themselves apart. Now, one thing's for certain, there's a lot to look forward to, so much that next year could even outdo this one as the biggest for SpaceX yet. Let today's episode serve as a sneak peek into SpaceX's 2023. And without any delays, let's get started. Welcome back to Great SpaceX. The world's richest man, Elon Musk, has sought for years to send the towering next-generation rocket system into orbit from the company's private launch facilities in Texas, where it has only launched prototypes of Starship's upper half some 10 kilometers high to demonstrate landing attempts. Several times in 2022, SpaceX stacked, unstacked, and performed engine testing of the Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket near Boca Chica Village in Texas, but Starship was grounded for all of 2022 to date, despite SpaceX's hopes that it would achieve orbit this year. The company had not taken into account the Federal Aviation Administration's need to conduct a programmatic environmental assessment of its facilities in South Texas, called Starbase. The FAA completed its delayed review in the mid-year, but provided an action list of items for SpaceX to fix ahead of launching Starship to space for the first time. SpaceX has not said anything official, but based Based on a couple of conversations, I think SpaceX has a reasonable chance of making Starship's orbital launch during the first quarter of 2023. There are no guarantees and there's still a lot of work to do, but the company is making progress. It's then fair to say that an orbital launch attempt this year is off the table. Regardless, Starship has continued to receive lucrative contracts nevertheless in 2022, including a commitment to supply landing systems for NASA's Artemis IV moon mission, and agreeing to fly billionaire Dennis Tito around the moon along with his wife Akiko. The Dear Moon crew, assembled by billionaire Yusaku Meizawa in 2018, was also announced in late 2022 for a presumptive Starship flight in the coming years. Next year, when a series of new factories come into operation, SpaceX will expect to accelerate the production and assembly of the ships as well as the Raptor engines, meeting the growing demand for super heavy lift launch vehicles. The SpaceX CEO also set an ambitious goal for Falcon rockets in 2023. Thanks to SpaceX's record-breaking 2022 launch cadence, which has resulted in Falcon 9 launching more in one calendar year than any other rocket in history, the Falcon's second stage has likely become the most produced orbital rocket stage in decades. And now the company just needs one more launch away to fulfill Musk's ambitious goal of 60 Falcon launches in 2022, which is awesome. While the company continues to set records in 2022, CEO Elon Musk says that SpaceX is aiming to complete up to 100 launches in 2023, a bold goal. But given the abrupt and impressive progress SpaceX has made and continues to make in 2021 and 2022, it's also a reasonable goal. Far from easy, but well within reach with some moderate improvements. But what's interesting, not only Falcon 9, but SpaceX's Crew Dragon also has a busy launch schedule next year. SpaceX has been tasked with continuously ensuring the presence of NASA astronauts at the ISS since November of 2020. Due to a string of issues that have caused years of delays for Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, SpaceX is thus guaranteed to be NASA's sole path to the ISS until the first quarter of 
2024. NASA and SpaceX now are preparing for the launch of the sixth SpaceX commercial crew mission to the ISS for NASA. The earliest targeted launch date for the agency's SpaceX Crew-6 mission is mid-February of 2023 from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Besides that, the sunrise on a three-part Polaris program, the Polaris Dawn mission, is currently scheduled for liftoff no earlier than March of 2023, and it'll be a big step forward. Polaris Dawn will be hurled higher than any Dragon capsule has gone to date. Additionally, the crew will attempt the first ever commercial extravehicular activity, a spacewalk making use of upgraded SpaceX supplied intravehicular suits, garments worn inside the capsule, marking the first private spacewalk in history. Axiom 2 and Axiom 3, two other private spaceflight missions using the Crew Dragon spacecraft, are also scheduled to fly to the ISS in 2023. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, after its November comeback launch, is on track to launch again early next year. The Space Systems Command confirmed that the massive SpaceX rocket's next military launch, USS F-67, was scheduled no earlier than January of 2023. While preparing one Falcon Heavy rocket to launch USS F-67 in January, SpaceX, at least according to customer Viasat, may also be preparing another Falcon Heavy rocket to launch the first Viasat-3 satellite the same month. SpaceX has as many as five Falcon Heavy launches scheduled in 2023, a stark change after more than three years without a single flight. SpaceX will also upgrade its Mega Constellation next year. It has launched more than 3,600 Starlink satellites to date with Falcon 9 rockets. Of those, around 3,300 of the 4,408 Gen 1 satellites authorized by the FCC are estimated to still be in orbit. The service now has 1 million active subscribers, but the service is far from perfect and far from being profitable. To truly reach global and reliable reliable service, SpaceX needs to complete its constellation. This is the Starlink Satellite Version 2. It represents about 12,000 second-generation satellites that are a bit bulkier than the first edition as they carry more capacity. Earlier this month, the FCC granted Starlink partial approval to operate 7,500 of the nearly 30,000 satellites in its proposed Gen 2 constellation. The company has previously outlined intentions to launch Gen 2 satellites at least once a week with plans to increase this cadence. 2023 is looking to be a very busy year for SpaceX as well as the entire space industry. What are you excited for in the next year? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. In any case, we thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX and my team and I will see you next time.